Yeah, see that, man? That's a little boat stuck in there. Beautiful and energy efficient. Thinking maybe you can't afford new windows? Truth is, you can't afford to not turn up. on YouTube I am back with another video and as you can see we are at Mad Scatter's crib all right you either see the Audi or his challenger that's sitting in the garage um getting some crazy stuff done today a couple of videos gonna come out of this I can't lie um but my challenger is broke so um that's kind of the deal right now um pretty much what happened is my shocks and struts went out uh, which caused my handling and ride to be absolutely terrible and then when my shocks and struts went out in the front it definitely had some wear and tear on the lower control arm right um, and i should have took a video of what it looked like um, but that is exactly what we're replacing today so hopefully it fixes my ride before we get to atlanta man because that's the biggest thing is getting ready for atlanta right uh, but you're literally gonna see how to replace shocks struts and the lower control arm all right and we're gonna add some special surprises here and there as well uh so definitely be on the lookout um but let's get to it oh shit you know yeah never get into an oh shit situation these are all my boxes that's when you over spent that's when you make a fucking bad decision or you you cheat yourself out because it's worth it I know this is rear passenger side, but understandably so. You can run them like that or run them like that. It doesn't matter. Most people pick this line to go forward towards the front of their car, or they do all four that it's going away from away the from the car. So that's up to you. Now that's rear passenger side. It's going to look like that. See, those are facing. I'm just gonna keep them facing that way then. Yeah, I'll face them that way. Yeah. You see mine? I said it. You face them the other way. Right thing. Oh, yeah. Sure. 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 Different part number. Should be the same part. They should be yeah, the same part number. But yeah, you guys. So you can see what we got sitting out, man. Going different rotors and brake kits. Going different control arms, shocks and struts, springs, etc. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what's going on there, but that's what you're gonna see today, man. But. Hopefully it fixes it, man, because my ride was super bad, uh, and I couldn't stand it. So yeah, we're going to get it fixed, and I'll get you guys once we get going. So we are jacked up all the way around, man. And then we're gonna get started with the bottom half here, you guys. If you haven't seen my engine bay, there you go. But here we go.
Backup singers forced by Chewbacca. All right, what's going on YouTube? As you can see, man, we are still out here. Um, so long story short, um, finding one or trying to fix one issue, we actually found a pretty dangerous issue um, when it came to the car, man. Um, so on my car, there's a forward and rear or rear ward uh, control arm. Uh, and the rear one was actually bad but once we actually got our hands on the front the front one was even worse which was you know uh you know pretty much giving me the vibration and if you remember a few videos back i had to go get my drive shaft fixed for a vibration um and all that vibration just letting everything become loose even with lock tighten and you know bushings and things rubbing like that um so yeah i ended up having to go by two uh, front control arms as well, man. So in total to, to fix this issue um, Probably around fifteen hundred dollars had to come out of my pocket uh, You know, which You know, it's, it's kind of like pretty much the price of the car uh, You know and, and owning it and taking care of it um, and you know stuff like that happens man no matter how well you drive it, etc. So um, Yeah, we're still getting at it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few things man and, and we'll go from there. So what you guys can see, old rotors, lower rear, lower front, old shocks and struts. And you can see, we are still working at it, man, getting some stuff done. But on the other hand, man, I do like how the power stop look. Power stops look crazy good on there. Um, you know, gonna be repainting the, the calipers here shortly. Uh, don't think don't think I'm gonna do a you know tutorial video on how to do that because it's literally just so many out there. But I'll be repainting it before Atlanta. They look super good against the chrome face of my rims, man. So yeah, see that man. I should have video what we did, but always <laughs> freeze your slide pins when you go in doing your brakes. They should work like that. They should work. They should not be not rusty <laughs> and stuck in your caliper. That's crazy, man. All right, what's going on, YouTube? It is day two. All right, we are still here. You can see Toro in the back. And I'm going to let you guys meet her. Um, the white V6 Challenger, if you guys know exactly who that is. There's a set of twins out here in Charlotte. Uh, you get to meet one of them today. Um, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little quick recap. My car was broke. My control arm, the rear one, rear one on the right side was broke. No, on the left side, my bad. On the right side, and we we're gonna replace both anyway, just because it, you know, they come in pairs. The forward one was broke. <laughs> so I had to buy two of those. So I technically replaced both control arms on both sides, right? On top of replacing the shocks and struts, all right? On top of replacing the rotors, etc. Well, as we were replacing the front brakes, guess what? I had the push pin seized 
and the actual brakes. So I guess my car wasn't even braking correctly, right? And these are just minor things that like when I take it to a shop that they don't tell me about. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them out there, man. Coolwood's Tire and Auto, right? You know, I used to trust them with my car. You know, they took care of me very, very you know, well, etc. But literally I saw a vice grip marking on my push pin. So they knew that my push pin was seized, didn't tell me and slapped it back on the car, right? You know, I'm big on if you're going to work on my car, you got to treat it like it's yours and vice versa. And I would, I'll, I'll pay fine. Right. And that's why I take it to, to scatter. But, um, we're going to get that done today. That's literally all that's left is replacing that actual caliper kit. I had to go buy a whole new caliper itself just for the bracket. Um, I'm going to paint it for now, just a red color, um, until I can actually take the time to powder coat it, et cetera, before Atlanta. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at her car, see what she's got going on. And we'll go at that way. I smell it from here too. Yeah. Well, I'm basically taking off your combustion chamber. I'm opening it up. Spark right plug. Down there Spark the plug top kit, of your man. Coil covers. Technically a coil yeah. pack, my bad. It is a coil pack. Technically a coil pack, you guys. Don't quote me on that. There you go. Keep those old ones. Okay. Just in case. You got a spark plug that you know that works. One of these fouls out in the way. We just switch it out real quick. Okay. You're rolling down the road the same day. Okay. But you guys you can't see who that is. Days, that boy got his feet out. But you guys <laughs> see who it is. All right. And you see the license plate and the stickers and the... I think the license plate too. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly who it is. Yes. So... That's who's here. Oh, wait a minute. This new. Look. Got the quad tips back there, you guys. Oh, yeah. You That's know. new. Yeah. <laughs> That's new. Reduction. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, keep that off. Bye. Yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> shit. New. Oh. New. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I'm about to have to pay for a whole new quad pack, you guys. Now we going now we gonna get it. There we go. Okay. Got a nice little got a nice little sound. So you can see power stops are on, new brakes, new shocks and struts, new forward and rear control arms. So hopefully I'm able to actually drive. Um, can't see his face, but that is scatter right there. <laughs> um, and, and we're getting closer and closer now. And we're finally going to the ground, you guys. have touchdown all right YouTube I am just now finished with my break-in period on my brakes um, yes I said break-in period because if you know anything about the power stops they actually require you to do a to do a break-in period once they're on the car um, and I had to test out a little bit of the parts that we put in the car etc man um, so the break-in period is nothing but five straight aggressive stops from 40 miles an hour to 10 miles an hour and then five straight uh, you know moderate regular stops from 35 to 5 without stopping uh, in between those those stops right and then of course about five to ten minutes of just some you know relaxed driving to cool off the brakes um, to, to set the ceramic and carbon fiber on the actual pad uh, evenly etc um, but you know so it took two days um but you know chris or, or mad scatter we we got it done together man it, it took a little effort and it was definitely a lot more than i thought um you know so with with, with having a build etc or a car that you kind of consistently work on and things like that um you know problems occur right um but i'm glad it's over with i'm glad it's fixed she's eligible to go to car shows now etc again um 
so yeah that's that's it uh just make sure you're on the lookout for my next video all right because it's a mod coming um that i want you guys to check out that every dodge challenger or charger needs to do mainly challenger all right uh needs to do as soon as they get the car especially because a lot of the stock cars are coming with this piece that you know they should just spend the extra money to you know to not necessarily upgrade but to make the car look good right um but outside of that man i'll see y'all in the next video